Hello and welcome to the Out of the Sandbox video guide to some logo and image best practices. Today we're going to take a look at a few tips that I've taken from some blog posts on the Out of the Sandbox blog, and I'm going to share the links in the description so you can follow along and catch some extra tips while you're at it. First, let's talk a little bit about logos. So here are a few tips about the actual logo file. So whether you sourced your logo from a creation of your own, or you've hired a design agency to create a logo for you, or you've used a third-party service like Fiverr to create a logo for you, these four points are pertinent regardless of the source. So you're going to want to make sure that it's of high resolution and good quality, that it's a PNG image that has a transparent background, and that it has the proper dimensions. Now, the proper dimensions vary, but I'm going to show you where you can see this in your theme. This advice applies to all of the Out of the Sandbox themes, but I'm using the Turbo theme as my example here. I always find it to be a good idea to lay out the various logos in your image editing software so that you can crop them and resize them to get them to their correct dimensions. And if you're ever curious about what the dimensions should be, just check out the setting that you're going to use the image for, and you will see the dimensions, the recommended dimensions listed right below that. So taking a look at the Turbo theme, going from the Admin Panel to Online Store, Customize Theme, Header, there are multiple places you can add a logo, and there are settings associated with each one. If you just set the first logo setting, then that logo will be applied to all of those various positions that I'm about to show you. But as you scroll down the page, you can see that the sticky header reappears, and the background color of that section may not work with the color that you have set with your logo. So I advise to create potentially a dark version and a light version of the logo, so then you can swap them out depending on the backgrounds on which these logos are appearing. So I'm demonstrating that here by first setting the logo, which is the logo that will appear in the sticky header, to the dark version, and then going to the home page logo setting, which is the logo that appears over your first banner image just on your home page, and setting that to the, to the light version, since that works with this darker colored background. As you can see, we also have a setting for the footer to add a custom logo there. And we also have the mobile version of the logo. You can use the toggle in the bottom left corner there to see the mobile version of the preview and then swap out the logo with either the light or the dark version or a logo that you've made specifically for the mobile layout like we have here. Now on to a bit of a discussion about the banner images. So the Out of the Sandbox themes are responsive, which means that as you resize the browser window or as you view the site on different devices, the elements will resize and stack so that they all appear properly, regardless of the viewport width. So our tips to go along with that would be to not have a specific focal point or subject in the banner image, to have no text as a part of the image, and then to double check that the image is working on various screen sizes by changing the width of the browser window or by toggling into that mobile mode, then that way you'll make sure that the background style image that you've selected works with your design and also isn't impeded by the fact that it will be viewed on various screen widths. If you're ever at a loss for a source for these types of images, I'm going to share this support article here which has a nice list of stock photography websites. Unsplash being my favorite one here, I'm going to download this attractive background style image, and then I can jump over to this other free tool, Photor, to make sure that the image is in the correct dimensions. So I'm going to upload the image to Photor, I'm going to resize it first, and then I'm going to crop it to get it to the 1600 by 1000 pixels suggested in the settings. Then with the resized version of the photo saved, you can just head back into your Turbo settings, swap out that first banner image, and then proceed to modify your headlines and subtitle text that is part of the theme as opposed to part of the image, so it will also behave in that responsive manner depending on the width of the viewport. Finally, let's talk about product images. So the common question of what size should the product images be you can upload the largest version of it that you have. That would be the best idea for the modern retina style displays. And the theme will resize the images to fit into the various containers. However, it is important to maintain uh, consistent dimensions across all of your images for the way that they appear on a collection page or in a product listing. So as you see here, this one pants product 
is more of a vertical image and it doesn't have the same square dimensions as the rest of the product images that it appears alongside. So you can try to crop it into a square image as I've tried here, but it doesn't seem as though we can catch the full feature of the product image by cropping it into those types of dimensions. So as a workaround, if you're in a situation where you can't resize or crop your image to get them into consistent dimensions, head into Customize Theme Collection Page where you can enable a line height of product images and then set the product image height to a consistent value like 280 pixels, which is the height of the rest of these square thumbnails. Then that will constrain the height of that one taller product image and have it aligned vertically and horizontally with the rest of the thumbnails on the collection page. So I hope you can put some of these tips to use on your own shop and that you check out these blog posts that I'm sharing that the Out of the Sandbox team has put together and they know these themes inside and out so they have the best uh, suggestions for how to handle your logos and your images. If you had any questions or hit any snags, head over to support.outofthesandbox.com where you will find a plethora of resources to help you out. Thank you very much for joining me for these tips. My name is Sean Campbell. Take care. <laughs>